Welcome to Breaking and Entering 2016. This year is a little bit different. We're in a friend's home because the family that we're breaking into doesn't have a home. It's, you know, a mascara alert. Don't say we didn't warn you. Dear Christmas Wish, I know of a family that could really use some help this Christmas. On September 11th, 2016, they lost their oldest daughter in a car accident. The family had to lay their daughter to rest, which was incredibly hard and is something no parent should have to do. Then on Halloween, not even two months after burying their child, the family's house caught fire. They took the younger kids trick-or-treating and they came home to see everything they own in flames. This family of six now lives with relatives while they try to figure out what will happen next. Their house cannot be lived in because it needs a lot of serious repairs. Just imagine leaving your house to go trick-or-treating and coming back to find that you have nothing left. Please help this family if you can. They need the necessities to live right now and maybe a few extra fun things to bring smiles to their faces. They deserve some happiness this holiday season after having such a tough year. Thank you for considering the Caratero family nice. for a Christmas wish. Shout out. And that's from their friends, Miss and Melissa. Now this is actually Kylie's house, the one that set up the GoFundMe account. Did you cook? I ordered pizza. Yeah. Okay, good. That's, they that's, think they're coming over for dinner, Yeah, that's right? what you told them? Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Dinner. I, wondering, I didn't smell anything. Y'all smell food? And they really have no idea that no. any of this is going on. No. They know no. about the GoFundMe, they don't know about the letter. Right, they have no idea. Okay. okay. I think they're coming. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, no. I tried to do Spanish. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Feliz Navidad. What's up? What's up? I was already interviewing. I'm Miguel. I'm Miguel with the Kid Craddock Morning Show, and this is Jenna and JC and Kelly Raspberry, and we're Hi. here for you and your family. How are you? Good, thank you. We heard that you guys lost your home, perdieron su casa, y a tu hija, y ha sido un año muy difícil. It's been a very difficult year for you guys. And you're. Tobelito, your grandfather also passed away this year. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I know for you and your kids and your husband, it's been very difficult. And you have very, very, very good friends that wrote us letters, that sent, set up a GoFundMe account, and they got in touch with us. And now you guys will have a Christmas, but we're gonna make it the best Christmas you've ever had. Yeah. Esta va a ser la Navidad mejor que has tenido en tu vida. Ojalá. <laughs> Where have you guys been living the with last couple of uncle, months? With my uncle. That's what we were, were planning was to get a house like for Christmas because the baby wanted a Christmas tree. Mm. Christmas tree of course. So you're staying with your uncle and how many of you are living under one roof right now? Um, six, um, ten. Ten, ten people. How many bedrooms? Oh, gosh. Three. You make it work though, right? Because yeah. it's family. You got to. Mm -hmm. you got to. Now, did, and you, did you lose every single item that you guys owned in that fire? Yeah, but a lot of clothes, like there's clothes, but it still smells like smoke. So then they said you can't use it. So, yeah, well, everything. Y las fotos, the, the pictures. You guys lost all your family pictures, everything in the house, all the memories that you guys had. So what we've done is we've asked pho Photolanthropy. Uh, they're a Dallas-based nonprofit organization, and they are this lady right here. And what they do is they, they document uh, true stories of people who have overcome adversity and things like your situation. They produce two award-winning documentaries, Travis, A Soldier Story, and The Luckiest Man, which we've talked to them on our show. And so they've heard about your story, and they want to give you the gift of creating all new memories and photos so you can start over with a professional photo session with your family. So that'd be great. Fotos de la familia, de todos ustedes, para que puedan empezar otra vez. Absolutely Thank free. You. Have you guys heard of the Four Seasons Hotel? Yes. It's very fancy. It's super fancy. That's where a lot of celebrities stay there. You guys are going to get a two-night stay for the entire family, including all your meals while you stay there, and those are very nice meals. You're going to get a spa and massages, pedicures for the girls, so you guys can go to the spa. That's Dad exciting. And the boys, you guys can get a massage, play a round of golf on a TPC golf course, whatever you want to do. And then the entire family has access to all the fitness facilities, basketball, tennis, racquetball, jogging, track, uh, indoor uh, swimming pool. Basically, so you it's just a that. weekend just to get away and be Relax. like on a little mini vacation. This is not the three seasons. This, this is, is the, the four, four seasons. seasons. But, but big out, what happens after yeah. they leave the hotel? You know what? We've got something really big. I know Uncle's house is probably cool. I'm sure you're digging that. But no. let's see here. We have an apartment at the Saddlehorn Vista Apartments in Fort Worth, Texas, 
and Mandera Residential. Madera Residential. Madera Residential. <laughs> they're giving you a three-bedroom apartment rent-free for four months. No tienes que pagar renta por cuatro meses. Y la, tu hija todavía puede ir a la misma escuela. It's in the same zip code as the school you already go to, so you, you're fine. You stay in your you same get to school. Stay in your same school. Is that going to work stay. for you guys? A three-bedroom apartment all for yourself? Yes. But I know what you're saying. <laughs> There's no furniture in the apartment. Well, rooms to go. It's going to furnish this apartment for you guys. All right. You're couch. Gonna get couch, love seat, coffee table, dining set, dressers, and a TV stand. So, be a lot to get you guys going in the new apartment. Yeah. Be a lot of help. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are you okay, Brisa? Yeah. That's not That's all. It's a not, lot. We're it's not a lot. Even There's we, more. We might want to take a commercial because we got more stuff. <laughs> but Wait, but... Uh, but how are they going to wash the clothes to get the smoke smell out? Yeah, because they smell out. like smoke, Big Al. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you, Big Al, because you need to get some prescription lenses in those glasses right. now. Precision <laughs> Alliance Leasing is giving the family a washer and a dryer that you get to keep. So they're replacing your washing machine and your dryer. ¿Quién va a lavar la ropa? ¿Quién lava la ropa? Ah, Brisa, okay. Brisa también. We're also uh, going to hook you guys up with a $1,000 gift card to Pier 1 Imports for your accessories so you could furnish your new place. They have everything in there. It's not just like, you know, decorative stuff. They have kitchen stuff, bathroom, bedding, whatever they sell at Pier 1. You have $1,000 to spend there. We got you a new laptop. Y'all got laps, From right? Best Buy. Yeah. So here's a nice new laptop. Does that work? Oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> You could connect your speakers to it. You have yeah. Bluetooth speakers. And <laughs> Toys R Us was nice enough to set up the toys underneath the tree for you. And we're also going to give you a gift card so you can go back and shop for what we might have missed under the tree that you might like for, for Santa, okay? Is that cool? Santa. ¿Cómo te sientes ahorita? Bien, pero a la vez mal también. Okay. Why do you feel bad? Porque estoy teniendo algo más, pero no tengo mi hija. She says she's getting all this stuff, but she still doesn't have her daughter. So she wants to share it with her. She's here with you in spirit. Yeah, she's... Always okay? She's smiling right now. <laughs> always. I know she's not with you, and you can't touch her, but she's here in spirit. And she'll always be. <laughs> Somos mexicanos. Nunca se van. <laughs> okay? Sí. Muchas gracias por todo. Gracias. Gracias por ser una mamá muy buena. Eso trato. I know it's still tough. hard for I know everyone. it's really tough. Yeah. It's the Primera Navidad. It's your first one. Was that your whole family complete? <laughs> How's he doing? He doesn't understand? No lo entiende todavía muy bien? Sí, sí, no, no tiene todavía. Yeah, he kind of understands. Like, for Christmas, we went to the warm place. Yeah. And they they asked you, like, who passed away in your family? And he was like, Connie. Because we called her a nickname. We, there was a wishing well. She was like, oh, you can make a wish. And you made a wish. And then she was like, what did you wish for? And he was like, I wish that my sister was back. Oh. Like, he, he understands that she's not coming back. And that's why he, he was like our mom, like to all of us. She was your oldest sister, right? So sorry oh, for your dile loss. Que dijo de Santa que que me Santa. Yeah. And yesterday he was like, the Santa bring everything. My mom was like, well, what he can like make, like the elves can make. And then he was like, oh, because... Well, I want a scone, like, can you bring anything? Mom was like, well, he can't bring that back. And he was like, well, that's what I want. Like, oh, he... Mm. Sweet boy, that's mm -hmm. a beautiful wish. All right, let's see who's at the front yeah, door. Yeah, someone's interrupting. What's going on? What is going on? Is that a... Whoa, fire truck wow. outside? Oh, it's what the fireman. The firemen are here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't start the fire. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we, we did hear that there was a little bit of a fire and that y'all have had some, some issues going on. So uh, on behalf of the Fort Worth Firefighter Charities and the Fort Worth Firefighters, we, uh, we brought y'all a little something to hopefully uh, help a little bit. That's Sir, could you read that number? That's very high for us. Well, <laughs> Uh, $7,500. Wow, that's awesome. That's wow. wonderful. That's awesome. Thank you. Awesome. $7,500 awesome. for your family. Thank you so much. And this is from the Fort Worth Firefighters Charities. How, yes, how do you raise this money just through like the boot drives and things you do throughout the year? Throughout the year, we do a handful of different events. We've got some golf tournaments that we do. We do a Marist Triathlon with the, uh, the Mayor of Fort Worth. We just did a big chili cook-off. So it's all the firefighters coming together and raising some money for different things like this. Uh, we do a lot of work with Cook Children's and, and, and things like that. Thank you. Uh, you guys are welcome. We hope it helps a little bit. 
Well, I think now it's pizza time. Yeah. You guys want to eat? It's a lot to absorb, I know, but we just want to, I mean, it's such a, a beautiful thing. And the GoFundMe account that your friends have set up, we're going to post a link if anyone's listening and the story has touched your heart and you want to help the Caratero family. Like we said, this is just stuff and it doesn't replace the life that, and the love that you still have, but the life that was lost. And we're so sorry for your loss, but we hope that you all have a blessed Christmas. This is what we could do for you. And we just thank you for letting us share in that with you. Gracias. Enjoy your food. <laughs> <laughs>